make sure she gets it over that false front. Green is tilted from back to front. Yeah, really nicely done there by Rose Zhang. Couple of feet remaining for her par and potentially chance to pick up a much needed hole. Just adding to the David versus Goliath story that's unfolding here this afternoon. Nice four there by Rose Zhang. Good enough to win the hole. Rose, one of her biggest strengths is her poise and composure, but that belies a fighting spirit underneath. She is a true competitor. Again, it's a, it's a tricky layup. If you get it wrong, you can easily miss this fairway right and have no shot for the third shot. Heading down the right, that's going to miss the fairway. Yeah, that'll be interesting to see what kind of shot she has left. Let's certainly put the pressure on. Another one caught the trees. Look at this. Wow. That is a thing of beauty. A little bit of a barky there. <laughs> Hit the tree and make a birdie. She's looking up at the tree. Thank you very much for that little deflection. Got to get a break once in a while along the way. And she took a firmer line. Still didn't gave it too much break, but that's often what you'll see in, in match play is good aggressive putting. Pretty comfortable six iron for Rose. want to keep this tee shot short of the flag stick. Like that? That, that <laughs> will do. So back to the bag for the hybrid. Started down the right side and that's not coming back. Almost got a, another favorable kick off a tree for the third consecutive hole. A difficult one down the hill. He's the peak on these. She thought it would move move more to her right. A little too much speed carried that through and held it high on the high side. Play, if she'd have putted, it would have had to take it up by the fringe. So they could check where the nerves are. Oh, look at this. What a shot. Wow. She has shown some incredible imagination around these greens. This is actually a pretty simple chip here for Rose. Good lie uphill. Landing on a slight downslope. Oh, yeah. Two classy plays. I think that's a, a good, good situation there. And let's go on to the 16th tee. A little adrenaline flowing just to get this jumping over the green if you're not careful. Lovely. Really, really well done by Paula Miranda. Might be the more sensible play at this stage. That taller grass might impede her backstroke a little too, or at least throw the rhythm of it off. Mm -mm -mm. Didn't hit it. Yeah, Gary. What a three by Paula Miranda. No, no doubt with that putt. That was, that hole was beautifully played. She executed on from the tee shot to the approach and that putt. Look like good rhythm there, just leaking right. And she's just a little late on squaring up the club on a lot of these shots, but with a nine iron that, you know, it didn't deviate too far from the flag stack. She gave that a good, good wrap. Really, really well done from that distance. Stepping right up over it with confidence. Oh, she didn't hit it. 
kind of just trailed off to the right. I don't think she saw that that movement at the end. A moment ago, Miranda's tee shot at 16. Well, she she wants to hit it just a little further than she did a half hour ago. And almost the same shot with that spin back. A little bit closer. She knows that read. Tee shot for Rose Zhang. Let's see if she can straighten out this tee shot. Pulled it. Pulled it the prior time she played. Oh, no. <laughs> but the, the reaction made me think it was long left again, so we got a putting contest no, at 16. Overcooked it a little bit, but at least she got it there. Oh my, looked so good, Kay. Well, it looked so good until an inch before the hole and it just curved to the right. Oh, that's come out very short. Oh no. A little heavy, it sounded. That was surprising. As good as she is with her short irons and, and her feel shots, that was unexpected. Down, down, oh, that similar, similar shot to what she hit earlier, releasing on through. Four second, reasonable third, indifferent putt for par. Miranda in with five. Rosang has done it. That was hit with the conviction and total confidence of a USGA champion. Good man. Oh, good man. <laughs> and you've won the U.S. Women's Amateur. What would it mean to you tomorrow to get the brace of the Girls' Championship as well? Yeah, um, I feel extremely accomplished to be able to play the final. And um, just if I won U.S. Girls, it would be simply amazing. Um, of course, I don't really have much expectation. I'm just going to go out there and um, play my matches. 36 holes is definitely a very long match, so I just have to mentally prepare for that, and I'll be good to go. <laughs> well, congratulations on a great day today. Get some rest. Good luck tomorrow. Thank you. Everybody uh, better step up. Yep, third for Lee at 12. And not bad. Just hard to control that shot out of the rough. And this is uphill with pretty good amount of left to right break. Oh, I can't believe that didn't move more to the left here in plenty of time. Oh, oh she kind of cut across that putt a little bit, put a little five. extra spin Davis on six. it. Not her best stroke. All right, mistake there by Davis. Just play it safe since her opponent is also out of position. Oh, boy. That was unexpected. It was like she was trying to hit it so hard that she just whiffed it almost. At the par four. Dealing with a, a similar situation. I can't see the surface of the green, but much closer. Looks like she likes that one. Good. That was, that was very nice. She stayed on a lower level, but found the green surface, which was essential. She has a pretty good lie. Only problem is she's hitting her four shot and Davis is in for birdie, or putting for birdie. This is a really nice chip here. And that, was, that was really 
Nicely done. You cozy this up and make an easy two putt. Oh, did she hit it? Hardest thing to do is lag it down there, isn't it? Oh, my goodness. That's the last thing you want to do. You want to make an easy hole of this. Everything's about conserving energy. She has about four feet for par. Oh, huge. She made that much harder on herself. And that would have been disastrous if she were Davis to miss and, and walk off. Davis set to go. A gap wedge in her hand, 110 yards. Similar shot to Rosang, not as fortunate though. With the Lee letting glow of her club here. Yeah, not too was, bad. No, that's a good miss. It's a great miss. It's really good miss. <laughs> that was a big pull. That was so much better than I thought. That was off. It wasn't four, five, six feet. It was in the two to three foot range, but a heck of a birdie by Katie Lee. There you go, Katie Lee. If I'm her, I'm just trying to lag this close. Great putt. That's exactly what she needed to do. That shows a lot of control over your hands, your nerves in this situation to, uh, to cozy that up as close as she did. She has 116 yards, needs to hit it close here. She needs a birdie. Sit. Sit. She's telling sit. it to sit. sit. Oh. What a shot by Katie Lee. That is exactly what she needed to do. Put the pressure on Davis, force her to hit it close. A nice shot, but certainly advantage Lee. Not what her opponent did. This at least, for birdie in the win. At least give it a good, a good opportunity to go in. There, oh, go. there it is. Wow, <laughs> that was awesome to watch. What a beautiful putt and an amazing match. She was down in her match and she did not let up. There she is waving to the crowd. Wow, whether she wins tomorrow or not, she's gonna remember that cut for her entire career. Davis wins the match one up. Congratulations. You're going into the finals of the U.S. Girls Junior Championship tomorrow. And if you win, you'll be the first African-American to win a USGA title. What does that mean to you? You know, coming into this tournament, I said, I want to, I want younger girls that look like me to be able to look at me and say, hey, if she can do it, I can do it as well. So I feel like that would mean so much to me and so many African-Americans around the world. Awesome. Congratulations and good luck in the finals. Thank you so much.